Connor. Thanks for helping me out with my demonstration on uh, how to help somebody who has plantar fasciitis or, and so that the condition doesn't reoccur. So we have uh, different kinds of stretches and releases that we're going to do. The, self one, the first one is called self myofascial release and it basically is you're going to put the foam roller under parts of your body. We're going to do the back of the calf and the outside of the calf, the back of the thigh and the inside of the thigh. And these are, the, so, and what we're going to do is roll, find where it hurts, or it's tender, and we're going to hold it there from 30 to 90 seconds. I'm quite stiff in the back of my calves right now, so I just want to do it with one cat with one. If you're finding that you're not so tender, you can cross it over and lift up and hold it on that point, just between 30 and 90 seconds, whatever you can, um, whatever your pain threshold is. So that's the outside, or sorry, that's the back. I'm going to roll it and I'm going to do the same move, but on the outside of my calf. Okay. When I'm done with that, I'm going to roll it over onto the inside of my thigh. So this one is... Just roll, find the spot where it's tender and let your body weight press down on the foam roller. And then, that's my abductors. I'm going to find the back of my hamstring, back of my thigh for my bicep femoris and hold there. Again, you can cross over. This isn't so tender for me so I can add the added weight. Do you have any questions? No. All right. So can I get you to start with back of your calf? We just have to do demonstrate one leg, not the full range of exercises. All right, find where it's tender. And you've been running, so you'll find a spot. Hold there. For 30 seconds. Fantastic. Can I get you to roll and do the outside of your calf? So. Yeah, we just did your gastro lateral gastronemus. Now we're going to do, you've got to roll over onto your side. There you go. Do I lift myself up? Yeah, lift yourself up. If that's, if that's not too uncomfortable? That's good. Okay. A lot of people can't lift themselves up, but I know you can. So. <laughs> All right, nice work. And if I can get you to do the inside of your thigh, your abductors. So. Do you want me to demonstrate again? Yes. So it seems a lot more complicated when you have to do it for yourself. So you're lying, I'm lying on my front, and there we go. Don't lift up on this one, it's quite tender. Okay. Just let your body weight do it. Nice work, again holding for 30 to 90 seconds. How does that feel? Fine. And of course we would do both sides of the body, both yeah. legs. So this is just for demonstration purposes. Fantastic. And can I get you to do the back of your thigh? Get your thighs up for more. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, just find the spot. And lift up. Perfect. And again, hold for 30 to 90 seconds. All right, do you have any questions on this part of the stretches? All right, we have to stretch the back of your uh, thigh, your bicep femoris. So what you're gonna do is bring your leg up, reach it over, hand arm down, and you're just gonna hold, stretch it out. Ideally, your arms cross to keep you balanced. And what we do is we hold this between 20 and 30 seconds, and you can repeat the stretch one to four times, so you can go through the entire sequence four times if you'd like to, depending on how it feels. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Down, straight leg, right across. Nice work. How's that feel? It sucks. <laughs> no. Connor, we're going to start with a calf stretch. We're going to look at the wall, place our hands, brace our hands on it, bring the leg behind us. Toes are pointing straight ahead. Drop the heel. 
So that's our gastronomic stretch. To do our solus stretch, we're going to bring in ourselves in closer. Keep that heel pushed down, but both legs are bent. You're going to feel the different, different stretch in different parts of your calf. All right, and then we're going to do our TFL stretch. So standing upright, I'm going to raise one hand up. I'm going to turn my foot back, and my, turn, my foot's going to turn out. So here, I'm reaching up and over. And all I'm doing is bringing it back a little bit. So I've got nice and straight, and then stretch it back. All right, great. So you can do these wonderful repetitions, holding each stretch for 20 to 30 seconds. Can you start with the straight? There we go. Feeling the stretch in the back of your calf? Yep. All right. So I'm going to get you to just turn this toe in just a little bit. There we go. Looking straight ahead and holding that for 30 seconds. Nice work. Again, you can do this one to four time repetitions. Can you bring it in now and do the second stretch? The solace stretch? Yeah. This one takes a little positioning. You'll feel the pull. Knee bent? Yeah, are you feeling that? Yep. Nice. Again. Standing up. Raise the arm. Here, turn face me. Up. Raise your arm. Legs, same side leg goes back. And then stretch. Nice. Feeling it? Yep. Nice. And we're going to activate your anterior tibialis and your posterior tibialis. We're going to hold them for four seconds with two seconds in between, and each time we're going to increase the work you're doing. So I'm going to start with this foot. Is it okay if I touch your foot? Yep. All right. So, need All right, so we're going to do your anterior tibialis. Normally this is done up on a massage table, a therapy table, but unfortunately I don't have one. So I'm just going to hold your calf. There we go. And you're going to pull against me, and we're going to do it for four seconds, starting with 25% effort. Do you effort. Want me to lie down? Lying down would be better, yeah. All right, so are you ready? Yeah. So 25 seconds, or 25% pull. So four, three, two, one, let go. Here we go. 50%, four, three, two, one, let go. 75% effort, really pull, two, one, and two second break, and here we go. Pull as hard as you can for four, three, two, one, and we'll put you down. Uh, we're gonna activate your posterior tibialis, and the way we're gonna do that, is it okay if I touch your leg? Yep. All right, so I'm gonna pick you up here. So you're gonna be pushing right there against my hand. We're gonna use to start, a four, we're gonna do a, ten, a four second count with 25% effort, are you ready? Yep. All right, here we go. Push for four, three, two, one. Nice work. Break for two, and here we go. 50% effort. Push, push, push. So you're pushing inwards. Nice. And again, 75%. Excellent. And last time, 100% effort. Four, three, two, one. Excellent work. All right, Connor, so what we're going to do is activate our gluteus maximus. What, and we can do this three to five times a week, one to two sets, 10 to 15 seconds, or sorry, 10 to 15 repetitions. And the timing is a little different than you're going to be used to, so you pull it out, hold it for one, two, and then slowly one, two, three, four, back. So again, bring it out, hold for two, one, two, and four, three, two, one, release. All right, you feeling comfortable with that? Yep. All right. Up you count. Probably gonna need to step back a little bit. Nice and comfortable. All right, and take your leg, lift it back. Oh, oh, there we go. Hold for one, two, and bring it back to me for three, two. Let's try that again, perhaps a little bit slower on the return. Are you ready? And out you go.
Fold it for one, two, and back you go for four, three, two, one. Excellent work. Can we do one? So we're going to do the gluteus medius. Then I'm going to start with my legs crossed, holding onto the wall for balance. All right, and I'm going to pull it across. Hold for one, two, and back we go for four, three, two, one. So again, legs across, pull it across, hold it for one, two, four, three, two, one. Again, frequency three to five times a week, one to two sets, 10 to 15 repetitions. So what's that like? Here you go. You got the wall for balance. And both feet facing me. Fantastic. Here you go. Going that way. Hold for one, two, four, three, two, one. Great. Can you give me one more? Pull across, hold for one, two, and back for four, three, two, one. Fantastic. All right, so our last set of four exercises are integrated. So what we're going to do, and this is, the idea of this is to, for me to observe you doing the movements and just make sure everything's tracking uh, in the way it's supposed to be. So it's, uh, so it's three to five days a week, one to three sets, 10 to 15 reps, nice and slow. The first one is all we're going to do is standing on one leg. You're just going to reach your foot forward and bring it back. And reach forward and bring it back. So nice, slow, controlled motion. Great. Are you balancing the ball or? Nope, just hands on hips. It's all about learning to keep your knees nice and straight. Reach forward. There we go. And if you reach forward, try and get your foot to reach in front of you. Your foot, there we go. Bring it back, just next to you. And slow it down. Fantastic work, Connor. We can add hand weights, but for now, all I want you to do is step, press, and down. Step, press, and down. Step. Go. Thank you. It's called a wall jump, so this is not just reaching up. Knees are bent, and you can bring it up and back down. So as slow as you can, reach up and down. Soft knees. This is for people who are knock kneed to help their knees track straight. There we go. So I'm going to be watching just to make sure your knees are going straight. Feet a little closer together. There you go. Come up on your tippy toes. Down. Stretch up. Fantastic. All right, we've got one more to do. This is a 180 jump. So again, feet are shoulder width apart. You're gonna jump up and land. Up and land, trying to be soft on your toes. So I'm just jumping, turning 180? Uh, yeah, 180 turn, that's exactly it. Nice. Nice, can you give me one more? Thank you, Connor.